Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 33 of 2021, appointing Dr. Mohammed Mbarak Jum'a as Director General of Schools Affairs at the Ministry of Education. Under the same decree, Kifaya Habib Ahmed Al Anzur was appointed as Assistant Under Secretary for Educational Services and Latifa Isa Al Bunoda as Assistant Under Secretary for Education at the same ministry. His Majesty the King also issued Royal Decree 34 of 2021, appointing Brigadier Ali Mohammed Jassim Likbesi as Commander of Police Aviation at the Ministry of Interior with the rank of Director General. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday met the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defence of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness highlighted the depth of historic relations between the two countries, which continue to receive the support of both His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness highlighted Prince Mohammed bin Salman's continued commitment to furthering bilateral cooperation across various fields, which has provided quality opportunities and shared prosperity for both countries. He affirmed Bahrain's complete support for the safety and stability of Saudi Arabia, emphasizing Saudi Arabia's strategic role and commitment to serving the causes of Arab and Islamic nations, and adding that Saudi Arabia is a cornerstone of regional stability. His Royal Highness commended Saudi Arabia's contributions in serving humanity and supporting Arab justice and rights, noting the active role that Saudi Arabia plays in shaping the global economy. He highlighted the work of the Saudi Bahraini Coordination Councils, noting that the outcomes of its first meeting have resulted in even greater consolidation of joint progress and future developments. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia expressed gratitude for His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's continued support in furthering Bahraini Saudi ties. He wished Bahrain for the development and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Ahmoud bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa departed the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia during his visit. His Royal Highness had met the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense of Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness was bid farewell by the Governor of Riyadh, Prince Faisal bin Bandar bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, the Ambassador of Bahrain to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Ahmoud bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa and senior officials. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa had arrived in the city of Riyadh and was received by the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud yesterday. His Royal Highness was accompanied by the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and several senior officials. Following his arrival, His Royal Highness made the following statement in which he expressed pleasure to be in Saudi Arabia on a visit that once again reflects the strength and depth of historic relations and important ongoing cooperation across a wide range of shared interests benefiting both countries. He expressed pride in the ever-growing strength of relations between Saudi Arabia and Bahrain, which continues to receiving the absolute support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. He added that the visit represents further commitment to a trusted strategic partnership valued by both countries and a valued opportunity to meet with the Saudi Crown Prince in order to reinforce coordination and cooperation aligned to the joint visions and aspirations that unite the two countries in furtherance of shared progress and achievements. He stated that the visit provides another opportunity to reaffirm Bahrain's complete support for Saudi Arabia, commending Saudi Arabia's role and commitment to serving the causes of the Arab and Islamic nations. He added that Saudi Arabia is the cornerstone of Arab and regional security and at the heart of the regional and global economic stability. 
The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the national teams are now participating in inter international events, which affirms the development witnessed in the sports sector in the kingdom, thanks to the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness expressed congratulations to His Majesty the King on the occasion of the qualification of the national volleyball team in the World Championship that is held in Italy and Bulgaria. His Highness also praised the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and his keenness to be present in various events. His Highness hailed the high level of performance of the team and the efforts of the players to reach the finals in the World Championship. His Highness also hailed the role of the Bahrain Volleyball Federation led by Sheikh Ali bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. The Representatives Council held a meeting under the chairmanship of its speaker, Fawziya Zainal. The council approved a draft law on the accession of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Convention on the Conservation of Migratory Species of Wild Animals, which aims to enhance the kingdom's efforts in protecting the environment and wildlife and protecting migratory wild animals. The council also approved a proposal adding a requirement for the issuance of work permits for expatriates seeking to obtain jobs that require academic qualification in the same specialty to have their academic degree accredited by the authorities concerned. The Board of Directors of the Real Estate Regulatory Authority, chaired by the President of the Survey and Land Registration Bureau and Chairman of the RIRA Board of Directors, Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for approving the national plan for the real estate sector at the Cabinet meeting. On the occasion, Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah stated that submitting the comprehensive plan is a means of achieving the visions and aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa towards a better future which contributes to achieving the interests of citizens and increasing development. He stated that submitting the national plan for the real estate sector was among the priorities of FRIRA, adding that the plan will extend to the next four years and includes many initiatives and programs that will base real estate careers and activities on clear and transparent legislations and procedures and will make them available for real estate investors and professionals. He directed the executive department to immediately begin implementing the programs and initiatives of the national plan for real estate. The CEO of FRIRA, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, expressed thanks and appreciation to his royal Highness for approving the National Plan for Real Estate 2021-2022 to and for his support to the real estate sector. On the occasion, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa announced that beginning of the executive mechanisms to activate the items, foundations and initiatives on which the plan is, pay is based. He also hailed the vital role of the Board of Directors led by Sheikh Sanman bin Abdullah and following up on the plan, its approval and its submission to the Cabinet. On the occasion of the visit of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to Saudi Arabia, the Minister of Information Ali Rami'i held the visit, which represents an embodiment of the historic fraternal relations between the two countries' leaders, which are based on solid foundations of mutual goals and destiny. The Minister of Information affirmed that the meeting between His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Saudi Crown Prince carries a message of appreciation and respect from Bahrain to Saudi Arabia and noble sentiments of pride in the leading and vital role of Saudi Arabia as a strategic depth of the Arab and Islamic nations and a main pillar for the security of the Arab Gulf. The minister noted the support of Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic world to Saudi Arabia in facing hostile and misleading campaigns and in support to all measures it takes to counter terrorism Iran-backed Houthi attacks, which is a blatant violation of international law and a threat to the security and safety of citizens and residents. He stressed that the conspiracies will only make Saudi Arabia stronger in its wise policies and just stances. Rameh expressed his optimism in the success of the visit and bolstering the march of the Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council, led by the two crown princes and the director of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, which contribute to bolstering fraternity and cooperation between the two kingdoms. The Shura Council's Committee of Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security, chaired by Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Qatam, condemned the repeated attempts of Al Jazeera Channel to tarnish the reputation of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the unity of its people by broadcasting false media reports that lack credibility and professionalism. It stressed that the misleading information included in those reports aim to undermine Bahrain's achievements in the field of human rights and promotion of justice. In a statement, the committee stressed that Al Jazeera Channel is following a hostile approach against the Kingdom and is working on disclosing systematic reports and news to incite sedition and undermine social cohesion in Bahrain. It asserted that the channel is adopting an unprofessional approach and deliberately trying to shake unity between people and their leader. 
so as to wreak international havoc and sabotage. The committee indicated that the report broadcast by Al Jazeera Channel on March 7 contained fal fallacies and false information. It stressed that Bahrain is considered an oasis of peace and stability and a model of commitment to the values and principles of human rights. It noted that the Kingdom's honorable human rights record debunks the suspicious reports broadcast by Al Jazeera Channel as part of subversive political agendas. The committee affirmed strong condemnation and rejection of all attempts to encroach on the kingdom's sovereignty through a blatant interference of its internal affairs. Nominations are open for the 11th E-Government Excellence Award held under the patronage of the Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Supreme Committee for Information and Communication Technology, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa. The award is open to participants from public and private sectors, as well as individuals and civil society organizations. Entries can be submitted via the awards website www.egovaward.bh from 10th of March until 10th of April 2021. Information and e-government chief executive Mohammed Al-Qaid said this year's award reaffirms Bahrain's commitment to moving forward with its objective of highlighting innovative and pioneering initiatives in the ICT sector, despite the circumstances imposed by the pandemic. The sector has enjoyed notable growth thanks to the rapid technological developments aimed at serving the needs of individuals and organizations, including the challenges they are facing during the current pandemic. The award allows participants to enter innovation and efficient projects and services and compete by showcasing how they are add value to beneficiaries and contribute to Bahrain Economic Vision 2030 and the Kingdom's digitization. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 309,141 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 202,679 had taken the second. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 6,292, with 718 recoveries, 653 registered new cases and one death. 239 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 406 are contacts of active cases and 8 are travel related. The deceased was a 70-year-old male citizen. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.